G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. This is a, uh, part two, the second video on examples of looking at how to solve simultaneous equations. I'll put the link up to the first video. Uh, now, again, simultaneous equations are where we use two algebraic equations. Uh, these are the ones with x's and y's to try and solve these unknown variables here. There's either the x's or the y's, okay? So the first thing we have to do once again is get these coefficients the same, these numbers in front of our x's or y's the same. You're going to see that we've got a 4y here and a 2y here, so they're different, and a 12x here and a 3x here, so they're different. So I think the easiest way to do this, if it was me, is I would multiply equation 2 here by 2. I'm going to try and get these y's here the same. So equation 2, I'm going to multiply by 2. Okay, so equation 1 is going to stay the same. Equation 2, I'll put here. So equation 1 is going to stay as 12x take 4y equals 12. And equation 2 here, I'm going to multiply by 2. So I'm going to end up with 6x plus 4y. And it's going to equal 12 times 2 is 24. So these, because they're different signs in front now, we can basically just add all of these together because minus 4 plus 4 is going to equal to nothing. So they're going to cancel each other out. So what we, if we add these two equations together, what we get is 12x plus 6x is 18x. Okay, these guys cancel each other out. 12 plus 24 is 36. So 18x equals 36. Therefore, x equals 2. Hey, how'd you go with that? Now, to work y out, what we do once again is we substitute uh, this 2 into our equations for x. Okay, so 12 times 2 is 24. 24 take 4y equals 12. Okay, what this means is if we take uh, 24 off both sides, we're going to end up with minus 4y. I'm taking the 24 off there, I'm going to take 24 off the other side. So 12 take 24 is minus 12. Okay, if I can get, because these are both minuses, I can actually, uh, they can cancel each other out. So plus 4, plus 4y four equals plus 12, and y is going to be equal to 3. Okay, just to check it out, I'm going to substitute this into the second equation. So, for the second equation, 3x 3x is going to be 6 because x is 2 plus 2y uh, 3 times 2 is 6 we get the answer of 12 ok hopefully uh, you're doing pretty well with these ok on the next video again I'm going to give another example of these I'm also going to put a link up uh, not only for that but for uh, a way that you might solve these a little bit differently ok see you next time